Okay, so in this short video, uh, I say short video, it's probably taking a little bit longer than uh, short, but uh, we're just going to explain and show you how to build uh, X line standard hose reel. We've got some instructions in the box, but they're not the uh, easiest to follow. on the back loosely, just put on loosely. Cheers Harry. <laughs> See halfway through the uh, video. Yeah, just on the side. We're just doing the second one, just putting these on loosely. drums. Um, what we need to do then is we need to put the centre spindle, there's three holes here and we need to use the one that lines up in the middle where there's a, there's a gap in the middle. So we just push it through there and line that hole up in the centre with that hole and use the 6mm bolt, washer on the inside and then you've got uh, an M6 knot. And do it that way. On the inside. And then we can tighten that up straight away. Just use a 10mm spanner. Uh, no, it's definitely the difference is that you have to uh, slow away, but it won't no, damage. Still feeling a bit, maybe we should have used a socket. Just put that on the other side. You'd have to have it separate on the side, that's pretty standing there, or wheel on. Yeah, there you go. Just tighten this one up. Now we need the plastic centre. Pushes on there. A little bit, sometimes a little bit awkward to get in, but they just line up with the holes. That into place. And get, and get, then get the opposite end and slide that through. Again, sounds a little bit tricky to get in. Okay, so now we've got the main drum. Then what we do, um, we in the little bag of fittings again. This. These plastic sleeves pushed in facing inwards and then that's when we use these things we made up earlier they slot over the sides like that now this bit's important uh, to determine whether you want a left-handed or right-handed reel because obviously the handle sits on this side so it all uh, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to spin it round um, and we're going to make uh, a right-handed winded reel so, one to winding on the right, so we have this facing backwards away from us, like that. Put that in there. So we'll move 
with this and go everywhere. Another one. Slides in there. Again, yeah, we just do it all loosely to start off with because otherwise it's really hard to tighten them up. So they all slide into place like that. And we can stand it up and as you can see we've got this effect where they're all following the same suit. So they're all all dog legging the same way. And we can get these tightened up then. So eight mil socket and spanner. Lift all these up. So now uh, what we need to do now for the outlet on, so make sure it's got the uh, rubber o-ring uh, on the inner and that just slides on there. Now when you slide putting this on, just make sure it lines up properly and it starts to wind on before you tighten it up so it doesn't cross thread on there um, and you can just tighten that up. If you do get any weepage from there you can just get some grips on there and just nip it slightly should be fine. So we've got the brass manifold, three bits to this. Slide the brass manifold through there like so. Fibre washer sits inside. So it's a right handed reel, so we're riding it this way. So we want the brass manifold to come over the top and face towards us. So just pop that through, this is quite fiddly. Just put that in there. That's why it's important to line that centre spindle up with the blackout frame. So when we put this brass manifold on, it actually comes out of the centre here. Again, you can get some grips in there and, and tighten it up if you want to. That's that. And then we get pop the handle on. Tightens up onto there like so. Get that. You do get a brass quick connector in with it. That's uh, building the reel. Um, that's it comes as standard with um, the half inch adapter on the brass manifold. But on the internal of the brass manifold, there's a there's a one eight uh, inch a BSP. A female thread that you can screw a reducer into there, so you can actually screw the reducer into there. I'll just get one so I can show you. Put a PTFE tape onto that if you're going to plumb it in. That just screws on there, like so. You can screw that in, and it just reduces the barb down so you can put an 8mm hose on there.